Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to be trying a new bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Beautiful Skin Sunkissed Bronzer. I've gotten asked two questions this past couple of days. One, did I get the bronzer? The answer is yes. Two, which color did I get? And honestly, I also could not decide. So I bought two different shades. I bought the shade Fair Pale and medium. I am assuming medium will be my good one, but I just couldn't make up my mind online. So what I'll do today is I will try them side by side and that way if your skin tone is kind of close to mine, you can determine which shade is best for you. If you love Charlotte Tilbury makeup like I do and are excited for today's video, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up before you leave. Also, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button before you leave and let's go ahead and get started. I'm pretty excited about today's video because not only do I love Charlotte Tilbury makeup, but I feel like every time she does bronzing products, she nails it. So I'm very excited to try this new one and of course I have very high expectations. The packaging as always is absolutely beautiful down to the box. It says Science Plus Color Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer Smoothing healthy looking glow cream bronzer for face and body infused with hyaluronic acid and vitamin D. Charlotte loves her disclaimers and little clinical trials. So in the back of the box, it says it boosts hydration by 136% in one hour and that the skin appears smoother by 42%. It also is humidity proof and sweat proof. For application, she recommends buffing it onto the skin. So I have a couple of brushes ready, one for each color. Let me show you the packaging of this stunning bronzer. Just take a look right there. This packaging is absolutely gorgeous. The bronzer retails for $56. It has a huge mirror, a really good quality mirror up here. And then here is the cream bronzer part. I love that swirl stamp situation happening right there. Um, this one right here is the color medium. And this one is the color Fair. I truly did not know which one to go for because Fair looked a lot more cool tone, which I thought I was going to like, but then I wasn't sure if Fair was going to be dark enough. So I ended up grabbing both. And again, that is the question that we are going to resolve today. Which one of these is better? <laughs> Let me show you everything I'm putting on my face before I even put the bronzer on. I'm starting with my Magic Eye Rescue, which is my Charlotte Tilbury eye cream, and I am putting it all around the eye area. Of course, I'll also be using my Magic Cream. That might have been a lot. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to massage it all over my face. I will be leaving my house today, so I'm going to apply my Paula's Choice Youth Extending SPF 50. I just love this sunscreen. It sinks right in. For foundation, I'm going to be using my Pat McGrath foundation. Two and a half pumps or so. And I'm blending it with a sponge all over. I have the shade medium nine and it is the perfect summertime color for me. Charlotte Tilbury color corrector next, right under here. And the Say Beauty bronzer, which I am still testing out. I did a first impressions on this one the other day. I honestly quite like it, but I'm trying to figure out how much I like it. <laughs> and I'll just be blending it in with my sponge. With my Pat McGrath on dry powder, I'm going to set right in the center of my face. And I just love it when you pick up a bunch of your favorite products and they come together this flawlessly. I'm digging my skin right now. Now that you saw how I got here, let's go ahead and swatch these bronzers, starting with the fair one right here. I'm just going around with two fingers and I'm going to swatch it right here. So this is fair. And I'm going to do the same thing with medium, of course. Here we go. And I'll swatch them right here. So that is what the colors of the bronzer swatch like on me. 
This is probably not going to be very helpful, but I totally think that I could use them both. The fur one is a lot more cool tones, so on me it will probably look a lot more sculpting, like a winter bronzer we'll call it, not as bronzy, not as warm. Um, and then this could be my summer bronzer if that makes sense, because it has a lot more warmth to it and it is a little bit darker. You obviously don't need them both though, so we are going to determine which one is the best color if your complexion is kind of similar to mine. This one here is the fair one and I'm going to go in with my refer number 31 brush and buff it as per what Charlotte wants us to do right over here on this side. Wow, okay, that is fair. As you can see, I'm buffing and we're definitely getting some product placed. I honestly expected to have to go back a little bit more in order to build it, so this is great. Check it out right there. This is what FAIR looks like fully applied and I could go a little bit more intense with it. I kind of buffed it out, didn't apply too much, I wanted a natural look with it, but this right here is the result, which is better than I expected. I expected it to be not as pigmented for this particular color at least and I'm very pleasantly surprised. I would say I look nice and sculpted and a little bit bronzed all at the same time even with that lighter color. So let's move on to the medium one and see what that one looks like. I switched brushes. This is a Wayne Goss number two. I'm going to go around it a little bit. I'm a little scared because we saw it was pigmented and I'm going to buff it on this side lightly because again very pigmented <laughs> all right so after both bronzer colors have been applied let me know what you think this is medium over here this is fair over here i did have to be a lot more careful when applying medium because it is a pigmented product and so of course i didn't want the medium side to build up that much because it would have stopped looking natural i feel like both sides look natural right now but i do have my preferences if your skin is like mine or lighter especially if you have a neutral undertone like i do i would actually go for the fair one i think i like this side better it's a bit more natural looking a little bit more sculpted you have to be a little bit less careful with the amount of product that you pick up and it gives you really nice color i could have built up this even more than i did now if you have a light complexion with a warmer undertone or your complexion is darker than mine I would probably go for the medium shade I'm kind of like right in the middle I can do them both but if your skin is any darker than mine or even around my coloring but warmer you might enjoy the medium bronzer better as far as the formula is concerned I thought it was like really nice and smoothing it does feel smoothing it's kind of like a thick cream texture it has a beautiful natural finish to it i'm looking back at like both of my sides and i think that because i had to be so careful with the medium side it doesn't look the best on my skin right now like it looks a little splotchy i'm just going to build it up a bit more and see yeah that fixes it for sure like i just buffed it too much you know um, but then now it does look darker than this side, which is okay. It is meant to be a darker color. I'm actually going to be very annoying and say that I do see myself getting used out of both shades. Now that I have them and I've tried them, I'm not going to return them because I like them both but for kind of different occasions this is more like my everyday glam makeup bronzed and sculpted type of a look and I feel like this is more of a natural beach day bronzy summery type of vibe so for those two occasions I do see myself using them but the one that I will most likely get the most use out of is the fair shade rather than the medium shade that is for sure now a few of you had also asked me to compare this formula because this is new and exciting to the formula of the nars bronzer that i have raved about for so long and it is back in stock let me show you hold on 
Do you guys remember this limited edition NARS bronzer from last year that I raved and raved about? I stopped talking about it on my channel for a while because it's been sold out forever since before the holidays last year. Well, NARS just brought it back and now they have a bunch of different shades. I feel like they have like Laguna 1 through 5 or something. My shade that I had from when it originally came out, it just says Laguna. So I'm not sure which one exactly is in the... Laguna bronzer spectrum. Maybe it's the lightest one, but don't quote me on that because I have no idea So let me tell you the differences between the formulas I have Laguna here and then these two are the Charlotte Tilbury bronzers in fair and medium Laguna is kind of in the middle which is a good thing because you know it combines both shades so shade wise Laguna wins but anyways formula wise though they are different I do feel like the NARS bronzer is more creamy. The Charlotte Tilbury one I have on almost feels like it has a natural to matte finish to it, which is what I think makes it smoothing. While the Laguna one from NARS has a more creamy consistency, it feels a little bit softer. And I feel like the NARS one can be more pigmented right away, which for bronzer can be a good or a bad thing. Let me explain. So these are all three of them swashed side by side. I feel like because the NARS one is so soft, you might like overdo it at first and then that's a little bit harder to clean up after the fact. You have to be very careful with the NARS one because it is very pigmented and softer. And so that softer formula makes it so that when you put it on with a brush, a lot more comes off immediately on your face, which can make it a little bit harder to blend out and control. However, the NARS one has an incredible formula. It blends very, very easily. But I guess what I'm trying to say is that you have to be careful when applying it because it's so pigmented that you could do too much right away. And I feel like that is a little bit easier to control with the new Charlotte Tilbury one. Like this might just be a little bit more user-friendly only because the formula is thicker and a little bit drier feeling and so your brush is not going to deposit as much product on your face with one dip into this um, thicker formula. In comparison to the NARS one, I feel like I'm talking in circles and I hope I've made my point with what I'm trying to say. Both formulas are great but I feel like the Charlotte one might be a little bit more user-friendly because less product comes out on the brush. Now the other great thing about the NARS one is that it is $37 as opposed to $56. So it is a lot more budget friendly for sure. I'm going to leave you the link to the NARS one which is now restocked in all different colors on the Sephora website down in the description box along with the links of course to the new Charlotte Tilbury bronzer so that you can kind of choose whichever one you like best. If you're very comfortable applying cream products to your face and confident in your ability to kind of move them around and blend them, I would definitely go for the more budget-friendly option. But if you're a little bit more scared of cream products and you want something that is easy to use that applies kind of like a powder would, then I would go for the Charlotte ones because these apply a little bit more like a powder than a cream, I would say. For blush, I'm going to go with a cream blush and apply my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blush in the shade Southbound. And I'm going to blend it with my sponge over here. I have really been enjoying this blush this month. I really like it. It's just so natural looking. For highlighter, I'm going to use my Pillow Talk highlighter over here. And I'm using these two up here mainly because those are the ones I like the best. I'm back with a peachy eye look mascara and a nude lip liner on. All of the products on my face are of course linked down below so if you're curious about any of them definitely check out the list in the description box and I came back with no lipstick because I wanted to show you guys the lipsticks that my friend Tara Lynn collaborated on with Christian Audette and I am so proud of Tara. So she came out with her own shade of lipstick and gloss with Christian Audette. Of course the links to this will be down below and I did a peachy eye look today because she created her perfect peach lipstick. I tried it the other day on Instagram so if you're not following me on Instagram yet 
go ahead and do so because you know you'll get some information from me faster over there and this is Tara's perfect peach just take a look at the stunning shade right there. This is my first time trying the Christian Odette lipstick formula and I really like it. It feels very luxurious, very hydrating on the lips. The pigmentation is really nice and now we have this beautiful peachy monochromatic look. Um, the gloss has a bit more of a pink rather than peach undertone or it's more of a pinky peach maybe I should say. And I'm going to go ahead and put it over top also really beautiful formula with the gloss and this right here is the final look let me tell you my final first impressions on the charlotte tilbury bronzer i like the formula it's a bit drier than what you would usually expect from a cream bronzer formula like it almost has a cream to powder feel to it but that is precisely what makes it very user friendly because you don't have to place and then have to be worried about blending around a lot you kind of like buff and blend all at the same time which is very convenient and again makes it very user friendly this is a 56 dollars bronzer but keep in mind that there is a lot that comes in here so you will probably have this bronzer for a very long time as far as the color is concerned if you have a light neutral skin or lighter i would definitely do the fair side i did enjoy the fair side a little bit better um, if you like a more warm bronzy summery type of look then the medium bronzer is probably the one that you'll get the most use out of i really love how easy these were to apply and i also really love how natural looking they are so this new Charlotte Tilbury bronzer definitely has my stamp of approval and by the way it is now available not just at the Charlotte Tilbury website but also at Sephora so definitely check it out anywhere you want. I will be leaving you both links down below in the description box of this video. That is all I have for today's video. Don't forget to please give it a thumbs up. Before you leave don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Definitely check out all of the products that I talked about down in the description box of the video if you decide to go for any of them. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you back in the next video. <laughs> Bye.